We are beginning tonight with what could be a first of its kind facility located in Moss Landing. It would combine a deep water desal plant and a data center that would solve water issues on the Central Coast and improve energy efficiency for big tech firms. Action News reporter May Chow has some insight on the plan. She's live with our top story. Dan, cooling data centers with cold water isn't anything new. In fact, nearly every data center is liquid cooled today. So, what's different about this idea? No one has ever thought to do it using the Monterey Bay. The founders behind Deepwater Desal, a company that plans to build a desal facility at Moss Landing to supply drinking water to Santa Cruz and Monterey counties, say they have a solution that would solve both sustainability and environmental issues. Leverage the seawater that's going to be drawn in for the deep water um, desal project for desalinated water to support the region, the Monterey Bay region, and use that cold seawater to cool the data center complex in exchange for taking the heat that's produced from the data centers and raising the ambient temperature of the water prior to going into the desal plant. Chief Operating Officer Grant Gordon says this system will provide a more efficient solution for not only processing seawater into potable water, but also cooling data centers. He sees it as a win win situation for the Central Coast and the Silicon Valley. The Soquel Creek Water District has a future water source, and tech companies reduce their carbon footprints and utility bills. These are all household names that everybody in the Valley would know. Um, and Facebook, Apple, Intel. any of those companies, Facebook, Apple, Intel, Cisco, Hewlett Packard, Microsoft, LinkedIn, Amazon, any of those companies, eBay, would, would all be uh, likely candidates for this type of an operation. The proposed project, which is still in its early stages, would be built on the Moss Landing power plant site and process 25 million gallons of water each day. The water will be drawn from the Monterey Submarine Canyon, limiting the impact on marine life. This has not been done anywhere in the world before. The elements have been done, certainly data centers and desal plants have been created, but the integration of the two has never been done before. And another draw to bring data centers here on the Central Coast. There isn't one south of Silicon Valley all the way to LA, so having a facility here would upgrade fiber optics and increase bandwidth for the Central Coast, which is much needed here. Dan. All right, thank you very much. Appreciate it, May. The Deepwater Desal team submitted its project application May 30th to the State Lands Commission, which will begin the environmental review process, after which it will be forwarded to the California Coastal Commission. That'll take between 18 to 24 months before any work can begin.